Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay during these crazy times of self-isolation. I figured I could share a little drawing demo today. A few of you guys missed my live session where I showed you how to draw the character for my books, Little Leaders and Little Dreamers and Little Legends. So today I'm going to go through that process and show you how to draw their face. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to use a plain piece of paper. You can use whatever you like, printer paper. This is just drawing paper. Um, I'm going to use a new sheet. Um, and today I'm going to draw with a basic pencil. Um, you can use a number two pencil. You can use some colored pencils. Some of my favorite tools are Prismacolor Premier. Um, colored pencils, especially the black one is a, an important one to have on hand. Um, I think I'm going to color in with my Prismacolor um, markers. I also have some some markers that I got from Flying Tiger, so these are definitely um, more inexpensive um, but work just as great as these other ones. And then I have some colored pastel pencils. So we'll see how this all comes together. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but um, first we'll get started with our sketch. So, and um, this part I always do in pencil just to make sure that, um, you know, if I make any mistakes, I can kind of go over it over and over again and, um, you know, fix it a little bit later. So when I draw the little leader or little dreamer character, I start with a circle. So it's important that it's, not a perfect circle. So I have my shape. You can totally do all of the facial features on any face shape. You can make a square face or a triangle face. Honestly, it will be your own creation. So I'm just giving you building blocks and you can take them wherever you want. So when I do the rest of the face, which is pretty simple, you guys can see. I do everything with the letter C. So the letter C normally looks like this. I'm going to take that shape and roll it down so it looks like that. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to draw one here and one here. Now I draw the eyes closed because I like to imagine that the characters in my books are little children dressing up as these famous people, kind of closing their eyes and imagining themselves in the worlds of these famous people. You guys are more than welcome to open the eyes if you like. You can do that by adding another line there, adding an eyeball, some eyelashes, however you like. But for me, I really like this really calm, sweet pose. For me, it makes it feel like these kids are really just imagining the worlds of these wonderful people. So you can take that shape and flip it upside down and do another C here and another C here to make some eyebrows. Okay, we're more than halfway there. Um, you can keep that same shape going, put a nice little small one in the center and then a nice big one, flip it one more time for the smile. And that is the basis for this character. And from here, you can go anywhere. You can literally turn it into anybody. Um, Clearly, you guys can see in my books, I've told the stories of lots of different people. So Little Dreamers, Visionary Women Around the World is a collection of biographies of women artists and scientists from around the world. So clearly there's lots of cool, famous people in here. And then um, Little Leaders, Vision, um, Bold Women in Black History is African-American women leaders and activists and all kinds of things. Um, so today... I figured I might take it back for you guys, and you guys might have seen this on my Instagram before. Uh, here's a picture of me when I think I was in probably second or third grade. <laughs> um, so I'm going to draw a little Vashti, so I'm going to take note of my braids, and pretty much just the hair shape is going to sell it here. So I might just leave that in the corner so you guys can keep a look. Okay, so that's my basic sketch. I'm going to use um, 
some, uh, this is an alcohol marker. It blends really well to do some color. It's a little bit um, desaturated, but that's okay. I think it'll work out pretty good for what I'm going for. So I'm going to just like kind of lighten up some of these lines just because I don't want it to spread or bleed into my color. So, okay. So one of the tricks um, that I learned to work with these kinds of markers is to kind of treat it like watercolor um, and use kind of a wet on wet technique and kind of pull the color out. You guys can see it's kind of blending my, my pencil lines, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping it wouldn't do that. That's okay, we can fix that. Okay, I'm gonna use my colored pencil. Can you see how dark the Prismacolor pencil is? It's way darker than the pencil, the regular pencil. That's why I like it. And these are the Prismacolor Premier colors. They're much darker. So I have this pastel pencil, which is really good for adding a little bit more saturation, minimal blending. So I think this might work for me. So I'm just going to very lightly add some extra color here. I'm wearing my headphones right now, so I'm not sure if you guys can hear all of my scratching. I can just hear me talking. Okay, let's kind of add in a little bit more saturation. I'm going to add some of this red. Doing skin tone in this way is actually a little bit more helpful because, you know, no one's skin is one single color. It changes. It's many different colors all in one. So I like adding in these different hues, the reds and the browns. Sometimes you need blues for shadows and highlights and things like that. Maybe I'm going to add some, like, rosy cheeks. This is a feature that I put in some of my work. It definitely is like, it comes from inspiration from kind of classic drawings. It's an interesting feature that I, I wonder about a lot, but I do like it. I think it adds an extra little something to look at. And because I don't have more colors with me, I'm gonna rely on it to help me make this drawing come out a little bit better. Sometimes I limit myself to only the handful of tools that I just grab um, and just try to make it work. Like even though I'm in my studio right now, I could turn around and grab all the other colors I want and make it perfect. But sometimes um, I like limiting myself to only a few tools because sometimes you get more interesting work out of that. Okay. I'm going to try and use this marker, this brown marker for the braids. My braids look really black, right? But there is some brown in there. So I want to start with the lighter color and then use my black colored pencil to add the darker parts.
and I'm going to go in and kind of isolate each one of these braids. I don't think I'm going to do all the details in the braid, but just adding some light and shadow helps it feel like there's a thousand of them there instead of just one big line. in the second grade. This might have been when this photo was taken around the second grade. I had braids like this in and we watched a little princess in school. We were watching it over the course of several days and it was getting sadder and sadder and I was so grateful that I had these braids and I brushed them in front of my face so that no one could see that I was crying in the middle of class. So braids do double duty. Just kind of coloring it in, adding a few scribbles to kind of make it feel like there's more detail here. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could add some kind of lumps to make it look like there's a bunch of strands being braided. Later in the week, I will show you guys how I do draw the rest of the body. But today we're just gonna work on the face. This is Art 101 and we will graduate and move on to Art 102. And I will see you guys there. Until then, I would love to see you guys do your own little leader drawings. Um, and now that you know how to draw the basic face, you can turn it into anybody that inspires you. You can turn it into yourself, um, your favorite author, illustrator, who knows. Um, but post them online and show me and I will be around because I will not be leaving my house. All right, so there you have it. This one is bash tea. And then I can sign it. Done. All right, guys. Now you can go do it, and I want you to, I want to see your drawings, so post them, and I'll see you guys soon.